Okay, so feel the feelings. Um, so if you want to just sort of sit down, um, and I, th I think it's preferable if to do it with a straight back, but you don't have to, but if possible, then um, fall falling asleep is not actually f technically feeling the feelings, or, or, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you can sleep, but I'm just sort of saying it's not really uh, releasing if you're sleeping. And the ego will want to go to sleep when doing these types of processes. So, um, feeling the feelings. So, the idea with feeling the feelings is that, uh, and it's not really feeling the feelings, really. It's it's allowing. It's really allowing feelings, and it's not even um, it's not even allowing feelings because it's not really feeling. Because feeling is, is a label. It's a, it's a it's an energy, or it's not even energy. It's it's a vibration or it's a sensation. Now, who is experiencing this? Well, as these, whatever you're experiencing, if there's feelings in the stomach, if there's feelings in the heart area, uh, if there's tiredness, whatever it is, or exhaustion, those are just energies. And actually, if you, as soon as you, as soon, just allow those to be, and then as soon as the thought arises in consciousness to try and make a story, then detach from that thought and be back with whatever is being felt. So, for example, if there was something in the heart and suddenly a thought arose in consciousness, detach from that thought and just be back, allow just the experiencing of that feeling in the heart. And then if another thought comes into consciousness, as soon as it arises, just detach as quickly as possible and be back with the feeling in the heart. As you allow these energies to be experienced, if you're not attaching to thoughts, then actually what is experiencing them? It's the infinite is actually experiencing. Because as soon as you attach to a thought, the idea of a separate self uh, emerges. So if you don't attach to thoughts, then actually the universe is experiencing the energies out for you. So just allow, just try and be one with them. Try and be, and just detach from the thoughts as they arise. Or if a story arises, detach, be with the energy, whatever, wherever it is, whatever feeling it is, not really a feeling, it's just a sensation. You're just allowing the sensation. As you fully allow them, you know, if there's anything that looks like repressing it or suppressing it or not trying to experience it, just let that go, fully let it be here, and it'll start to dissolve. And another thought may arise and detach from that thought, and it'll start to dissolve and it'll start to dissolve away. It may dissolve completely away and then you may be aware of another sensation arising. If that sensation arises, just let that be and as the thoughts emerge, detach from those thoughts and then that will start to dissipate away. So you're just allowing these energies to be fully experienced and then to dissipate away. And then something more, something more subtle may arise. This can be done with uh, pains in the heart. Actually, pain is a, is a label, so you let that go. Heart area is a label. Anything that labels location can let that go because there is no such thing as location. Just let the energies be and dissolve away. Um, if there is, um, you know, stomach is a label, um, the area of the stomach is a label, let those go. And it, what will happen is these energies will become more and more diffuse as the labeling stops and as you stop distracting from thoughts. Remember, when you are allowing sensations or energies to be, and then to evaporate, as soon as you attach to a thought, you're resisting experiencing. So thinking is actually a resistance to experiencing what is. That's why you're just attaching, just allowing those sensations to dissolve away. Also, you know, something in the heart is like a ball, just allow it. But also, even if you're feeling tired, tiredness is not, you let go of the label of tiredness, it's actually like a, for me, it would be like a fuzzy fog. Just be with the fuzzy fog and just allow that fuzzy fog to be. And then it, as you allow it to be and don't make a story about it, it will start to dissolve away. It's like if you just fully welcome it, don't resist any energy or sensation. As you allow it, they start to dissipate and evolve away. When you resist a feeling, it stays. When you allow it, when you don't resist, when you don't go into thought, and you fully let it be, then be fully present with it. There's no you being present with it because you're not identifying to the thought of an I being here. Then they start to dissolve away because in order to experience something, you have to resist it. And when you allow it, you're, you're releasing 
the resistance. And when you release resistance, then that experience will start to dissolve away. Because experience is experienced because of resistance. And when the resistance is gone, then there's nothing here uh, to experience. If there is if there's any experience of time, just let go of the tracking. Time is a track. Also, if there's something like a, a background um, supervisor that's sort of saying, I'm doing well, or I'm not doing well, or I'm not doing it properly, or I'm doing it properly, let that supervisor go. Just allow the energy to be experienced and dissolve away. Switch off your thoughts, detach from thoughts. If there's anything in the background trying to monitor or tell you how you're doing, switch that off. Let the universe uh, feel out that feeling. Just be one with the feeling and the universe will take over and that will dissipate. And if that dissipates and something more subtle arises, just let that dissipate off. So we're going to do uh, five, we're going to do about ten minutes and then we'll see how we went with that.